Okay, so I'm here with Caitlin Tui of North Rockland, who not only won her 3,200 meter race, but she broke the meet record, now has a US number one, is it a national record too? 947 or 9, 947, right? What is going through your mind? Yeah, I'm actually pretty disappointed in my race. Um, I definitely uh, <laughs> learned a lot today about my race strategy. I think I need to change it up a little. But, um, you know, I can't be too disappointed with the national record. It wasn't quite the time I wanted, but, you know, going further into the season, um, I think I can snatch it. So now this is obviously your personal best that you have run, but are you just disappointed because you know that you could do better? Yeah, definitely. My training definitely um, says I can do better. Uh, I, like I said, I think it's just a matter of race strategy um, and maybe add that component of competition, maybe get into a elite level race and I could definitely um, run a pretty fast time. Yeah, because I was going to say, you basically, I, I mean, you want to do, you want to get better times, like 9.47 is still incredible, but you did run that race by yourself today, so throughout the entire race, you did you know that that was going to essentially be what you are going to be dealing with today? Yeah, I, I always prepare to be by myself, you know, um, the 5K indoors, my fast 3K time indoors, all by myself, so um, I definitely learned how to run by myself, but again, I think um, having that competition factor would uh, really bring out a pretty fast time. Oh yeah, for sure, because then you'd actually have somebody to fight for and strive for instead of striving for the person in last place, essentially. Yeah. So now, you, I feel like you've kind of been keeping it, not low-key this entire uh, season, but I feel like, have you just been picking and choosing your races and like what you want to do and what you want to deal with this season? Yeah, uh, in the beginning of the season was just about training. Uh, this is my first, I guess you can say, like big race. Um, looking ahead, uh, I'm, not, I'm kind of, like you said, picking and choosing a few races and not trying to race a lot. Um, the races I um, want to run fast on, um, I'm definitely going to prepare for them. So I'm not going to be running you know, fast every time I run. Obviously, there's the county and section meet, but that's all about points. So it's only going to be a few races this year that I'm really going to try to hammer in. I feel like that's kind of what you did during cross country too, where you were saving your, especially at Bowdoin Park, when you knew, okay, I'm going to run like a set time here, but I'm really trying to go for the record here. And you knew all season that you could do it. So is that kind of what your strategy has been this entire season? Yeah, definitely. Um, I definitely want to save some energy towards the end of the season when states and nationals comes around. So um, beginning of the season, I was, yeah, trying to stay a little low key. Um, but uh, now it's kind of the start of my season, I guess you can say. Yeah, because you came off an incredible indoor season. You and your school both did amazing at nationals. So now do you think that that really helped set you up for training going into this season and then what's to come by the end of the season and what you could do? Yeah, definitely. Um, indoor was pretty successful, so it definitely uh, set the bar pretty high for outdoors. So. My team and I are definitely have some big goals for the season. Yeah, and especially with your team too. You guys didn't go to Penn, but I know that you guys had won last year. So now not going to Penn, do you think that that's helping you to helping you guys to come out with a big race for whenever you do do your relays uh, at states and at nationals? Yeah, definitely. Instead of going to Penn, we all had a pretty hard workout. Um, so oh, so it wasn't easy for you either way. <laughs> yeah, no, I think uh, the workout was, would have been harder than the race. So that definitely. Um, you know, set the stage high. Uh, definitely um, got some good effort in that workout, you could say. Um, so I think that workout was really the key to the fast times coming ahead. So now over the next month, what are you guys going to be doing? You and like your entire team, what are you guys going to be doing to prepare for states and for nationals and whatever, you to be the best that you can be essentially? Yeah, we're just taking it one step at a time. We have our county meet next week, so uh, we're really preparing for that, trying to bring home the county title, and then we're uh, setting our sights on our section meet. So the next few weeks are just about um, team dynamic, trying to score some points, and then uh, we'll look to run some fast times again. And individually for yourself, even though you said you didn't run the time that you wanted to today, do you think that today's race is really helping to set you up for your individual goals for the end of the season as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, Setting the national record uh, definitely set some pretty high goals for the upcoming season. All right, well, I mean, girl, great job today. I know you're not that happy with it, but you still have another month and a half left. So good job, good luck, and whatever else to come for the rest of the season, all right? Thank you.